Hello Sharon, I'm Elliot from the GMB in the UK. Um, just a little bit of preface, it's um, from the perspective of young trade unionists and also young workers I ask this question. Uh, what is the ITCU tangibly doing to include and empower young people in our movement currently at the moment? Uh, and what goals do you think we need to achieve in the next five years uh, for young people to really be empowered in the movement? Well, I would, to be honest, I would really love your advice around that question because you know what it, what it takes for young people to be activists, what supports you need, you know, what uh, campaigns are at the, or struggles are at the forefront for yourselves. What I can tell you that we're doing is we're changing the culture of our structures. So, uh, you know, to we divided up uh, our youth committee uh, so that uh, half of the representatives will in fact be organising workers directly and uh, we plan to run alongside our traditional policy discussions on need organisers courses. The first one will kick off uh, in, uh, in about six weeks time. We, uh, we are determined uh, that the Get Organised platform that we have built will actually tell the stories and, and look to where we can support young people's organising campaigns. We have a generational problem, there's no doubt about that. Even though the official statistics of our Congress say there was almost 20% of young people, you know, if I tell you that the criteria is uh, up to 35, then you'll chuckle because you're not so young, really, by the, <laughs> by the time you get to 35. But the, nevertheless, we still don't hear the voices of young people mainstreamed unless, sorry, we don't hear the voices of young people mainstreamed. Unless we create specific spaces, then we are not actually doing what we know we need to do, which is build, uh, which is allow for inclusion of young people. So my own view is we also have become uh, you know, governance and institutions are important, but if they are so bureaucratic that it's not a model that young people want to uh, participate in, that they want a more activist model, a more flexible capacity to uh, take on uh, defined struggles, to know what a win looks like, to have the skills then to transfer their capacities to other areas of injustice, then we have to find those models. Some of the workers in uh, non-traditional settings in the informal economy are really helping us think through that. But frankly, we need more demands from young people about what it is that will support the work you are doing and include others. 